Welcome to the Greg's Review Show today, family. Today, we're going to talk about a very, very important topic today that you can use and I can do. And we just want to share that message today. Thumbs up, thumbs up, like and share this video uh, to the Greg's Review Show. And so without further ado, we're going to get right into it. We're going to get into this right now. We're not going to be with you long. Uh, please support us on uh, Cash App, G-R-E-C, dollar sign, Man Trap. Uh, all your donations will go to help our Detroit area youth or homeless people. So without further ado, let's get into these real quick topics today. It's going to be a good inspirational topic I want to talk about that I definitely need in my life. You can lead it, youth in your life. We all can use. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Five reasons you should be praying. Wow, five reasons that you should be praying, I should be praying. Let's talk about that right now. One of the reasons I came up with is because we love God. I love God so much that I consume him in my heart. That is the one good reason that you should pray. The second reason is that you depend on God. I depend on God. You depend on God to help us in our every deeds. We don't know what we're going through, but if we get down and pray and ask God to help us in whatever we're going through, whatever we need, he can do it. So that's a good reason. Another reason is praying for one another. God gives us a gift to get down on our knees and to pray for one another, thanking the Lord for Jesus Christ for saving us and giving us his son. So praying for another person is a good way that we should always pray. Another one is praying necessary for people to invite God to act in their salvation. That's a wonderful way. Praying for salvation for a loved one or a friend or a family member. That is another one. And our last belief is God always commands us to pray and to seek his faith. God always does that. He always does it. Even with me, I get down on my knees and I pray and ask God to help me. Whether it's at home or I'm in the car, wherever I'm at, I always ask God to help me. I ask the Lord Jesus to come into my life and to help me in my everyday struggle and what I'm going through. Because at the end of the day, we all need Jesus. I know what I do and I know that you do too. So without further ado, we're going to say a quick prayer for our YouTubers that God will come into our lives before 2023 ends and that he will save our loved ones and that he will do a new thing for us in 2024. Can we do that, YouTubers? Can we touch and agree right now that God will bless someone right now? Let's do that right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come into you as YouTubers. We ask in God that you bless everyone at the sound of my voice, every YouTuber that's listening to this video, we ask God that you bless them right now. Whatever they're going through, whether they lost a loved one, whether they're going through marital problems, whether they're having things that that's helping them, that's pulling them back in their life. We ask God that you, for 2024, that you will bless them, Lord, that you will save loved ones that needs to be saved, that you will help someone in their finances, help someone in their healing, help someone to find a job, help someone to find a new housing. Lord, you know the need that we need, God. And we ask, Lord, that you open up the doors of windows of opportunity to bless everyone. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, 2024 is coming among us and we ask God that you touch every YouTuber and give them desires there their heart as they commit their lives to you as they hold on to you Lord in these last and evil days so we believe in you Lord we touch and agree Lord that you will save our loved ones that you will back bring back the backslider that you will keep us humble Lord in these last and evil days and that you will continue to bless every YouTuber at the sound of my voice, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. That's it, YouTubers, we did it today. We touched and agree that God will bless us in this wonderful day right now that God has gave us. This is the day that the Lord has blessed us. Let us rejoice and be sad. So those are the several reasons why I gave 
that we shall always pray. The Bible said we shall always pray and not faint. Be not weary in well-doing for what we shall reap if we faint not. So thank God for coming, uh, blessing us today. Thank God for the YouTubers. Thank you, Lord, for blessing these YouTubers who came to uh, get this wonderful, wonderful message. And if God say the same, I'll see you next week with a wonderful, wonderful message. God bless you, YouTubers, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.